I'm William Osmond, and today we're about to do something fiscally irresponsible. That's right, we're buying a car, not an ordinary car, a tiny car for little kids. I'm not a little kid, I don't care, I do what I want. I've got two boys, one would be driving, the other one would be sitting in the back. You got a son or daughter, you're gonna let it? Uh, I'm actually really excited. I've always wanted one of these things, um, ever since like I was a teenager. Oh, yeah! Oh, it's really awkward, it's full of leaves and stuff too. Uh, this is probably a bad angle for you, isn't it? <laughs> it's good. There's two motors. Those are actually really tiny motors. How many volts is this? I hope this is six. Oh yeah. We're gonna put a 24 volt battery in it. My friend James gave me a helmet. Safety first. <clears throat> I'm not putting that. In. That's disgusting, James. I'm a little scared I'm gonna break it. That was not that cool. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I don't think we need to put a bigger motor on this thing. You know what I am a little concerned about right now though? If I just put the pedal on, it, it just spins out. There's no variable speed, dude. I think that, that's what makes it so hard. To the garage! That was a dead roly poly. That's nice. Oh god, it's raining dead roly polies! Brushless motor, well, the idea was to make it more powerful, but with no person in this, even with a person at 24 volts, it's already way too powerful. If we decide to use these motors, we need to figure out how to drive the motors, and they're probably gonna consume quite a bit of current, and I don't have a driver. We're either gonna have to buy something, build something, or hack something. Could maybe the drilled motor drivers? Eh. But then it's gonna be hard to change directions. Let's look at what driver or how this thing drives the motors. I have a feeling it is just like a mechanical switch. How do we take this thing apart? What could that possibly be stuck on? It looks just like a physical switch. So that's useless. What we're gonna do is right now work on the steering. Oh, we're gonna take the steering wheel. We're gonna take the steering wheel off attach a laser cut gear, and then uh, mount an encoded motor, somehow encode the whole thing so we know where the steering wheel is. And then uh, write a little bit of software that tries to make the steering wheel move to the right position based on where your, your controller steering is. It's gonna be identical to the uh, dog robot, very, very similar. It's... Laser time! This place is a disaster. <laughs> I wonder what a fire marshal would say. Not good things, I would imagine. Executor! Oh. Oh. I did it. Since I've got literally no chill, I'm gonna super glue this stuff together. I thought about using wood glue, and then I was like, no. Where is the motor going? What if we like screw onto that and have like a little... How ghetto is too ghetto? That's not terrible and I think this battery might actually be kind of dead. If this battery is like at 9 or 10 volts, I'm going to be really happy. It's at 12 and a half. I think I got something. This holds this encoded motor with this little magnetic uh, encoder, and then a little side panel holder will mount it to the side panel. I need more hands. Should we put the carpet underneath it? Simulate all terrain. <clears throat> Might have to recut this. The far end of the turn kind of goes off the gear. What time is it? Ooh, <laughs> I gotta keep doing this in the morning. <laughs> Cut. Um, hello. Are you recording? Okay, so I, I do that a lot. I say, okay, so. 
Um, and then I say, um, right after it. Electronics time. Instead of buying a remote and a bunch of RC equipment, we're gonna use the same remote that we used for Pumpkin Bot, Biohacking the Dog, and that's it. It'll be forwards, no backwards, and then left and right. The motors can be driven with a large MOSFET, but you need a freewheeling diode to prevent the motors from driving a large inductive spike into the MOSFET and blowing the MOSFET up. Drill motor drivers have this already, so we can probably use the drill motor driver. <laughs> Let's test this with 12 volts first. That worked the first try. That means something bad's gonna happen down the road. That's on. Oh, oh. The pin 10. <laughs> the remote's off. And now it's going faster, that's bad. What did I do? Throttle one and throttle 0.5. Steering zero, steering one. Let's put 24 volts on it, yeah? That didn't sound good and that doesn't smell good. Oh God. <laughs> I'm a little on edge right now. Oh dear, there's flames coming out of the MOSFET. Vroom vroom, car is done. We had some technical difficulties and have switched from a variable MOSFET to a relay. So we're gonna either go all the way on or all the way off. Uh, let's, let's dump some tunes and uh, check out the ride that cameraman John and I have. Can I say pimped out? Come on. Oh no, don't rip the mirror. We're gonna use a 12 volt battery first. Had some uh, bad experiences with the 24 volt. Though, to be perfectly honest, we also had some bad experiences with the 12 volt. Oh no. I forgot one of the batteries at home. Should we switch to 24? 12 is kind of lame. Oh yeah. I'm like so afraid to mess with this thing because I don't have any spare parts. Oh yeah. Dude, it can't even keep its wheels on the ground. I smell something kind of toasty. Hmm. That motor's not spinning. Oh no. That wheel's not spinning at all. Dang it. What'd we drive that for? Like 100 feet? And we could just shove it. <laughs> oh, there's smoke coming out. Oh god, those motors are. <laughs> I guarantee it. They're on fire right now. Vroom vroom, car is broken. <laughs> Turns out 24 volts is too many volts. Uh, overloaded the motor, too much torque. It worked fine on asphalt because the wheels could slip out, but when the wheels can't slip as easily, they caught on fire. So I think it's time to put some brushless motors on this in the next iteration of this project. Um, and uh, I think we're gonna start a Patreon because I spent too much money on this. And if you guys wanna help, help us build this crap and I don't have to be so cheap, then they'll probably come out faster and be more better. That's it. Bye. Also, Cameraman John and I will be at the Maker Fair Bay Area May 20th, May 21st, and we'll be handing out these cat tokens cut from the spinning wheels of the RC Power Wheels we just exploded at the park. Whoop. Bye, second time. Oh! No, geez. I can't get him. Nope, he's dangling literally by thread. Nope, good enough. How would that turn? Turn.